Today's video clinic is all about these little babies hard drives and I can't emphasize enough the importance of using these as part of your video creation process. Now I have spent literally thousands of pounds uh, buying hard drives um, and I have, I, God, I don't know how many I've got, I, I've literally got probably hundreds of these um, but as a video professional it's very important for me to have hard drives not only to edit on them but also as part of my backing up and archiving uh, process and today we're going to talk through a bit about uh, why you need to use hard drives for video creation and also why it's important to back up. So I have a saying, uh, there are three things in life which are guaranteed. Uh, one is death, the other is taxes, and the other is hard drives will all fail. Now in terms of uh, best practice, uh, when you um, are editing, um, it is really Im important to use an external hard drive and the reason for this is that if you're using your internal hard drive on your Mac or PC um, not only will it fill up very quickly uh, with uh, video uh, files because video files if you're shooting HD are large but if you're shooting 4k they're even bigger the four times as big and so your hard drive will fill up very quickly quickly and when if if your hard drive fills up very quickly it means that your computer will slow down because when it comes to video editing uh, processing power is really important um, if you're doing effects or adding graphics and things like that so you, not only do you need a fast editing um, PC or Mac to edit but it is best practice that you edit from a hard drive and we're going to go through that today. It's also important um, that you know you need to back up as, as well because uh, unfortunately hard drives are mechanical things and they do tend to go wrong and, and when they go wrong quite often you lose all your data. I'm sure you've probably experienced that uh, before um, and sometimes you know, you can't predict when really hard drives fail and when they do it's normally at a very, not very convenient time. So some options to consider when purchasing a hard drive. There are two, one is storage size and the other is speed. Um, storage is important uh, primarily um, because video files are big and if you're shooting anything in 4K it's they're even bigger. Now <clears throat> I recommend that you buy at least a two terabyte drive and if you can afford to do four terabyte even better. Uh, the sizes of drives in terms of capacity have increased exponentially over time and the cost has also basically decreased. Uh, when I first started in video production you know we were looking at very small drives you know only and under a gig at one stage um, and now you know the minimum I would buy is two terabyte you know for these sort of portable drives um, and if, <clears throat> you know for storage I look at much bigger if you can afford four terabytes even better. Uh, speed is is great because obviously we're talking about a transfer speed here um, the faster the drive you can buy the better and, and fast I'm talking about at least a USB 3 connection and also if you're buying a hard drive which is something physical which is spinning in one of these they do come at a speed they're normally like 5400 uh, rpm or 7200 if you can get the 7200 is better it just means that when you're transferring data across or editing from them things will happen a bit quicker uh, these little things are great, these are SSD, solid state drives are great, there's no moving parts in them, they're really fast but they're expensive. Um, this one here I think it's it's 500 uh, gig gigabyte and I think when I bought it it was like 140 quid. You can buy one terabyte, two, two terabyte but they're pretty expensive when it compared to um, something like something like this. Um, the other option people say to me, why don't you just put everything in, into the cloud? Um, <clears throat> so the storage capacity of the cloud is not an issue. You know, I, have, I use Dropbox and I have like a three terabyte 
uh, storage plan and you can buy a lot more. Uh, Google Drive, ha I have quite generous storage plans as well. Uh, but for me, the, you know, there's, a, there's still a couple of issues. Um, and the main one is pretty much the upload speed. <clears throat> okay, so when you have internet connection, when you're quoted a speed, it's normally what they call download. So it might be uh, 20, 20 meg, 50 meg outputs. You know, I have Virgin Media, Media and they quote that the download speed is 350 megs, which is really fast. But the upload speed is only 30. All right, it's normally a tenth of the actual download speed. Now, 30 is really good, but if it depends where you are, you might be only on 20 meg, in which case your upload speed is only 2 meg. And video files are big. I mean, talking about if you're doing a video project, we're talking um, gigabytes, if not terabytes, of material uh, potentially, and it's just too slow. And you might actually run into what we call a bandwidth issue with your internet service provider, where you know they don't like you uploading massive amounts of files because it, it clogs up their network as well, um, and therefore they'll either generally cap you, or that means is that they'll just slow your internet speed down. Um, totally as a, as, as a sort of a, to penalize you or sometimes you get charged. <clears throat> I remember one time a few years ago I received a bill for like 120 pounds extra because I was uploading lots of video files so then I switched to what we call a least line which was um, I think at the time only 20 up 20 down uh, but it was a very expensive. So the reason why I don't use the cloud for storage is purely because the upload speed uh, is too slow um, and then if you want to get stuff down, it will take some time. But check with your internet service provider to see if there's any bandwidth issues. And you can also check your speed by using, uh, that's like an online, you can use something called um, speedtest.net, which will let you know how upload and download your speed. I guess eventually, you know, the internet speeds will get quicker, uh, the storage will get cheaper. So um, cloud storage, we would be great. Uh, obviously, you can't put your files into the cloud and then to expect to edit off the cloud. It's just not going to happen. So you still need to use uh, something uh, physical. And I'm just going to go through um, some of the options that you might want to look at. All right. Um, this is a small collection <laughs> of uh, some of the uh, hard drives that I have. I've tested uh, a few of my time. As I said, I've been buying hard drives for, God, oh, who knows, uh, 10, 10 years or more, 15 years. Uh, I've been buying hard drives on a regular basis. So um, I've tested quite a few of them. And there's a few brands that I sort of, sort of come back to. Um, and in terms of when I archive, I use a um, different system. Um, I use these, what they call these 3.5 drives. These are the ones that they find actually in your computer. And I use this system with a caddy here, just purely because it's it's more um, cost effective. So let me let me go through some of the drives. I and mean, there's there's a proliferate you can buy from. I buy mine from Amazon um, generally because they have a good collection and, and normally you know, the the price is normally good and they deliver quickly. Um, the most popular, I guess, you know, I've got Western Digital. Uh, they're sort of a popular brand at the moment. Uh, they tend to be probably one of the cheaper brands in terms of terabyte size. These drives are fine, but they can be what I call a little slow. Uh, most of the video professionals we use tend to use these drives. These are called um, lacy rugged drives. Very distinct because of the orange plastic case. The idea being rugged is that you can drop them from five meters apparently and it won't break the drive. Very important if you're doing a lot of traveling. <clears throat> these drives uh, are quite fast as well, um, but this is expensive. You know, this is a, I think this is a two terabyte drive. You could probably buy these for, you know, between 50 and 60 pounds, dollars uh, <clears throat> online. And there's, this one's actually four terabyte, um, but you're looking at, I think I bought this one, for, it's like 160 pounds. So uh, it's more expensive but it's quicker and a bit more rugged, um, but they work well. I've been trying something new called, uh, this is called Silicon Power. Uh, this is a two terabyte, I think about 65 pounds. Um, again, it's, it's quite a, a rugged um, 
case and I, I use these for you know when I'm on location just want to back the files up uh, you know ideally this is a what we call an SSD drive this is a transcend but I know Samsung had them as well uh, again these are really quick really really good but uh, they're expensive um, again I think a one terabyte uh, drive will set you back at, at least 150 quid um, and quite often one terabyte is a bit small if you're doing a, a lot of filming so you know on location I will basically use one of one of these or one of these to sort of back up the data uh, on location um, and when I come back to you know the office or, or the edit suite I, I basically <laughs> I use one of these this is this is a RAID um, this is a GTEC technology, this is 24 terabytes. Okay, it's very fast, it's got a uh, Thunderbolt on the back which goes into uh, one of my iMacs. Um, massive storage, uh, very, very quick. Uh, also, not the cheapest is around. I um, mean, um, I think this cost me something close to 700 pounds, something like that. But, you know, if you've got a lot of video data, a lot of video content, which I do not only for myself but also for my clients, then it's important to have uh, one of those sort of raids. I mean, you can, you know, if you don't want to, if the portable ones seem a little bit too small and flimsy for you, you, you can buy, these are called desktop hard drives. Generally, probably a little bit better value because you can probably buy a larger size hard drives, uh, which are sit on your desk, they need to be powered. Um, as well, but you know, generally the speeds can be quite good on these. Um, uh, that's that's what I I use uh, to do the editing. Now, uh, as part of my motto is that uh, hard drives will fail, guaranteed in life. So it's very important to also back up your your video data as well. Um, so generally, as a general rule in production. Um, if we're on location, we always back up to two hard, at least, two, well, we do two hard drives on location. We take the card um, onto a, one of our Macs and then we will back up onto one hard drive and then we do the same process onto a second hard drive. And then what generally happens is uh, the video producer will take one hard drive and the cameraman or the editor will take the other hard drive so they're not in the same location. This is just to make sure that um, if anything happens that, that we have the data in different places. It's sort of part of what I call my guarantee to deliver. Because the last thing I want to do with a client is if the footage is a problem um, in case of something happens to the hard drive or the drive gets lost, you know, we have a copy um, in two places. Uh, when I get back to the studio, um, again, we, we back up onto our, one of our RAID systems. And then we, when we finish the, with the project, um, I then, uh, you know, I back up onto to one of these. Uh, this is a, a 3.5, 4 terabyte drive. And I tend to buy these uh, purely because you can buy these for like 80 quid. So they're a bit cheaper um, than buying one, which is a case. I just use what we call a caddy to do that. And this is, so I can edit off these, but I tend to use these for, for backup. And if I go to one of my slides, you can see that I have a lot of those drives right in the top left-hand corner. Um, and I mirror them. So I have two copies. Uh, one stays behind me on the shelves there, and the other one goes to my big yellow storage. And that's how I archive my material. Um, I, um, I use a piece of software called uh, Carbon Cloner. Uh, which basically you just tell it to get copy from one um, drive to another and it just makes sure that it, all the data carries across. Um, I've actually created a video about how I, where I archive my stuff and maybe I'll share that uh, in the feed uh, another day. So that is uh, my training for today, the importance of hard drives. Uh, let me know, you know, how do you back up your data? What what drives do you recommend? Um, why don't you share uh, your process um, with us here? So, hope you found the training useful. I'll put some links below about you know to where you can sort of buy the hard drives that I recommend. I can't emphasize enough the importance of actually using hard drives to back up all your video 
data. It's just really good practice and it will save you a lot of pain in the future. So thanks for watching and I shall see you in next week's clinic.